Hey Data Geeks, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to talk about the Tesla Supercharger Network. And they just released the actual rates and some good friends on Reddit actually pulled together all the different rates, the tier one and tier two rates for all the states in, in the United States, the provinces in Canada, as well as the countries in Europe, as well as Asia and Australia. So I figured let's take a look at that data and see what it's trying to tell us. So first off, there are two tiers here. So some states in the United States and some countries require for whatever reason that you charge per minute instead of per kilowatt. And so in this case, they actually have two different tier pricing. And so what I wanted to do was actually try to calculate uh, the cost of actually traveling on this new supercharger network. Now, any new Tesla purchased after January 15th of 2017 will actually have to pay to use the supercharger network. If you buy a used Model S, it'll actually be qualified for the free supercharger network. So that's something to think about as well if you're still on the fence and don't already have a reservation. So another great thing is that Tesla is going to give you 400 kilowatts of charging every year. Now that gets you about a thousand miles for free or about 1,650 kilometers. For a lot of people, that's going to be enough. But what if you wanted to take it further? What if you wanted to really test the limits and see how far you could go? Well, I downloaded all the data and I built some tools for us to use. So let's dive in. So looking at a map of the United States, I have every state with the effective rate that's being applied. So that's some of tier one, which goes up to 60 kilowatts of energy. After that 60 kilowatts, you're actually having to pay additional, the tier two pricing in some places. So what I tried to do was calculate if you have say a model 75 or a 90, let's say, the coefficient or the factor of additional cost that you'll incur by charging your car fully. So to use this, what I wanna do is I wanna calculate a trip. Now, let's say I wanted to drive from LA to New York City. That's about 2,777 miles according to Google. And if I started with a charge of 270 miles, and then I took into account my credits of 400 kilowatts that I get with my Model S 75 kilowatt battery, I would be looking at an average of tier one at 11 cents, tier two at 17 cents with an effective rate of 11 cents and an estimated cost of $63. Now the way this tool works that I built here is you can just punch in whatever number on top. Let's say I wanted to go 3000 miles, maybe San Diego to Boston. And I wanted to actually plot my route. What I can do is I can hold command on my Mac keyboard or control on my Windows keyboard and start with California and then just select the states that I'm gonna drive through. You can see that certain states like Utah is a lot more expensive than Arizona. So if I started in California, I went to Arizona, then to New Mexico, it looks like Texas and Oklahoma are the same. Let's go through the top part of Texas into Oklahoma. Uh, Arkansas here actually doesn't have any chargers, so I'll have to avoid that. Then I'll go up to Missouri. I could go through Illinois and let's say we'll stop in Chicago. Uh, have a couple nights there, get some pizza, head on over all the way over to New York City. Then I'm gonna go through Massachusetts and I'm there in Boston. So that little route that I calculated there, what happened if you notice is that my effective rate updated as well as the averages for tier one and tier two. So this is a little tool I built that will allow you to kind of route your trip and see what the effective cost would be. Now, if you need to adjust this, let's say you're using this and you've already used up some of your credits, you can do so, just punch in a different number here. Let's say maybe 200. I hit that and it instantly updates down below with the estimated cost. Now, I didn't want to leave my friends in the other parts of the world out, so I built another one of these. Let's take a look at what Canada would look like. And Canada, actually, there's a couple provinces right in the middle that don't have chargers whatsoever for the supercharger network. So if you are gonna travel from one end to another, you'll have to find destination chargers or nice people that will let you use their chargers in their home. If I did, though, want to travel from, let's say, Vancouver, BC, down to San Francisco, this is about 1,528 kilometers. So let's change our number here, 1,528. We're starting our charge with about 420 kilometers. Again, you can adjust this to whatever you're starting with or whatever your car typically has. And this time, let's get our 400 kilowatts of free energy back. And we're using our Model S 75 kilowatt battery. And you can see the actual estimated cost is zero. That's because with the credits, I wouldn't have to actually pay for that. It would be more than what I would need. Now, what if I wanted to come back though? Let's say 3000 kilometers. 
Well, you can see now I'm up to 31 bucks, but however, I haven't actually selected my route. So this is just using some averages, which include every state in the United States, as well as the states or provinces up there in Canada. So let's choose our route. So if I started up here in British Columbia, drove down to Washington and Oregon, into California and back, I would be looking at an average effective rate of about 14 cents coming to about 31 US dollars. So you can use this tool if you're in Canada. The one caveat again is that you've got a couple provinces here in the middle that might make it difficult. I don't know if you can make it all the way from Alberta to Ontario there, but good luck and I hope this helps you. And for my friends in Europe, I didn't wanna leave you out. I have another map here with another calculator that you can use to figure out the charges you might incur on a trip. Now, one of the challenges though, is that Europe is actually quite small distance wise compared to the size of the United States. So if you were to drive, let's say from London to Glasgow or Edinburgh up in Scotland, that's only 663 kilometers. You can see that if we enter that into our calculator here, 663 kilometers with our full credits, we're looking at zero dollars. We would actually have to do this four times. That's four trips, maybe two round trips from London to Edinburgh or London to Glasgow before we would actually need to pay for anything. We could, however, if you want to use this calculator to figure out what it would be without any credits, just change the credits down to zero and see that it would be about 13 euros each way. I did think, however, what if I was sitting in London having some tea and biscuits, maybe some hobnobs, those are my favorites, and I wanted to go listen to some of my favorite music down in a place that I really enjoy, Sevilla, Spain. Well, that trip is quite far. It is about 2,200 kilometers. So if we enter that here and we put back our credits, you can see that that trip would cost us about six euros. Now we haven't selected our route, so let's make sure that the prices are correct. I start in Great Britain, and then I go over to France, and then I go down to Espana. All right, and you can see that the effective rate is about 22 cents, and the estimated cost is going to be six euros, just over six euros there. I also have all of the details here available for download in a couple other sheets. There's by country, and then there's also US and Canada broken out by state and province. So I hope this helps you on your travels and figuring out what the supercharger network might cost you when you go on a road trip with your new Tesla. And if you're new to the Data Geek family, go ahead and join us. Click subscribe down below. If you're already a member, please hit the like button there and share this with everyone you know. And if you have any questions about maybe how I calculated that or exactly where the data came from, check the description of the video or feel free to leave me a comment down below. I really love all the feedback. And so I wanted to thank you for all of that as well as for watching here today. And I will see you back here next time.